Beginning session. Thank God you're all right, Tommy. Are you in pain? Yeah, but the meds work. I'm so sorry that you had to go through this, Tommy. I didn't even know that Unger had transferred you to Pinehurst. That's because it was my idea. I asked to be moved to Pinehurst. What? I'm tired of being in treatment. I hate living this way. I, I, I keep thinking about why you sent me to Unger to face my fear. Well, Pinehurst is even closer to Crystal Lake than Unger, so... It was my idea to be moved there. Unger should have notified me. That's on them. But talk to me. Knowing what happened, that a crazy person put on a hockey mask and murdered people. I know what you're getting at. I mean, this is exactly what Rigo has always claimed happened the first time I faced off with Jason and killed him. But it couldn't have been the real Jason Voorhees, right? Just a random psychopath trying to act out an urban legend, right? Forget Detective Rigo. How do you feel about Jason now, Tommy? After this crazy paramedic thing, I should be feeling better about all of it, shouldn't I? So tell me, why do I feel worse? How so? I... I... I'm gonna tell you something right now that's gonna make me sound even crazier than ever. I'm listening. Dr. Marino. Lauren. What if I'm Jason Voorhees? What makes you say that, Tommy? Last night, I had a dream that I killed Pam. Pam Roberts? Dr. Leonard's assistant at Pinehurst? It was so real. I, I had his hockey mask, Jason's mask, and I stood right there where you are now, and I stabbed Pam to death. Her blood, it was all over me, all over the floor. There was so much blood. Tommy. You just survived an unbelievable trauma again. A dream like that is not unusual given all you've been through. You're not hearing me. I, I think I'm dangerous. I think I should be locked up. I, I think I'm becoming Jason. Mommy, help, mommy. Help me, mommy. <laughs> Ma'am? But it couldn't have been him, I kept thinking. It had to be just me imagining, you know? When you hear a voice sometimes in your head? Captain, I'm gonna get Mrs. Voorhees some water. Why don't we take a few minutes to... So I didn't go to my baby, because I thought he was safe. I thought he was sleeping cozy in our cabin. But none of them were doing what they promised me. Jason was left all alone. They were not protecting him. They didn't care. So you were married before, ma'am? No, this man did not marry me. We met, it doesn't matter where we met. He held me down by my throat. He forced himself into me. He made me stare into his eyes as he, he. Raped you, ma'am? I tried to stop him. But he was too strong. It was his eyes. His eyes were... He had so much hatred. I couldn't stop him. He'd kill me. Did you report this? Pamela, did you ever report him? What was done was done. It didn't matter anymore. Nothing mattered. I just needed to take care of my son. My dear Jason. I'm not going home without my son. Mrs. Voorhees, we're going to start searching the lake as soon as there's light. No, I will not leave him alone. He's never been left alone. You take me to him. Chief, the recorder's on. I remember you turning it off. I did. Uh, Pamela, why did you turn... Take me to my son! It's late, and he needs to be in bed. Joe, shut the recorder off. No! God damn you, you just... No, God damn you. God damn all of you. Mrs. Voorhees, what's going- what are you doing? Stop that! Leave me alone. Get out of here! Mrs. Voorhees, please, give me the microphone. Give me my boy back! You f- 
fucking... Police Chief Kelly! Kelly! Okay, ma'am. Let's simmer down. No! I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill all of you! Is it recording now? Uh, yes, sir. That fixed it. <clears throat> this is Police Chief Michael Kelly of the Crystal Lake Sheriff's Department. Today is June 15th, 1957. The time is 9.54 p.m. This recording is the confession of Pamela Voorhees to the murder of Elias Voorhees, her husband and father of son, Jason. No, I did not say that. Ma'am, you just told me a few minutes ago you killed your husband, and you agreed to let us tape your confession. It's dark out, Pamela. You could get hurt. You're the ones who will get hurt. All of you. This camp now has a death curse. Don't ever forget that. Chief, should I... Let her go. Poor bitch is off her rocker. Can't believe a goddamn thing she says. We're done here. <laughs>